the infection that stops women from getting pregnant most times has no symptom at all no itchy no discharge no bad smell nothing you're walking around going about your job living your life meanwhile something is silently damaging your tubes and you will not know until you are ready to conceive and by the time you are ready to get pregnant the damage has already begun please do not skip this video because what i'm about to explain in this video has saved countless women from years of delay hi my name is jade i'm a health educator and i'm passionate about helping you live in good health on this channel i talk about fertility pregnancy motherhood and overall health if this is what you're interested in please continue watching and do not forget to subscribe today we are going to be talking about infections that don't show symptoms they don't shout they don't scream no sign at all but when they come in they can completely damage your fallopian tube and can stop you from getting pregnant please stay with me to the end of this video because at the end of it all you'll be glad you did when you hear the word infection what comes into mind is what itchy discharge bad smell bony thing inside of you but guess what those are easy infections when they come they show symptoms they shout they scream and then when you treat them they go away but the dangerous one they keep quiet with no symptom at all they stay in your reproductive system for months even years they cause inflammation cause scarring and eventually they cause blockage of the fallopian tubes and you don't feel anything happening that is why some women will say i have never had an infection meanwhile the infection came and left the damage quietly now these are the infections that every woman must understand number one is chlamydia the infertility mastermind chlamydia is the number one cause of blocked fallopian tube worldwide and the scary part is 70 to 80 percent of women who have chlamydia will not see a single symptom no itching no discharge no pain but when this infection comes it sits down and it climbs into your reproductive system causing something called pid which is pelvic inflammatory disease and once that pid scars your tubes opening them becomes very difficult and that is why most women finally discover that something is wrong when they do an hsg number two is gonorrhea which is the silent damage infection most people think that when you have gonorrhea you're going to have a lot of symptoms but some women do get something we call the silent gonorrhea which does not have any symptom at all no itching no pain no discharge but when you are it's climbing upward slowly damaging fertility number three is the mycoplasma and the urea plasma these are the commonly overlooked ones and most labs in nigeria don't routinely test for them in fact most labs don't routinely test for this infection and when this infection comes they cause chronic inflammation they cause repeated infection symptoms low level pelvic pain and finally they cause infertility many women that are treating infection every month are actually battling these two type of infections number four is bacterial vaginosis yes bv can actually cause infertility many women think that bv is small is it not smell and discharge here is the part that you don't know when bv is recurrent and untreated it can change the environment of the vagina which then increases the risk of pelvic inflammatory disease so indirectly bacterial vaginosis can also affect fertility number five is postpartum or post-abortion infection this part is painful because most women do not like talking about it after childbirth miscarriage or abortion even a small infection when left untreated can travel up into the tubes and cause blockage many women would think that they healed because the symptoms stop but sometimes the infection is still there and the inflammation is left behind also now let me explain how the infection actually affects fertility actually it's not the infection that causes infertility it's the inflammation so when the infections enter the body the body fights back with inflammation inflammation then creates scarring and the scarring 
then creates blockage. And when there is blockage, the egg and the sperm cannot meet. And if the egg can, and the sperm cannot meet, meaning there is no fertilization. And if there is no fertilization, there is no pregnancy. But as at this stage, if you want to start using antibiotics, antibiotics is no longer effective when this damage is already done. And that is why most women keep treating infection again and again and again thinking the problem is still infection but the infection left a long time ago what is now left is the damage here are some signs that shows that you may have had a silent infection number one is when you feel pain during deep sex number two is when you spot after sex number three is when you have low back pain or you're feeling pelvic heaviness number four is when you have very painful period or when there is a miscarriage that follows with a fever or with a pain if you've been trying to conceive for a year and it's not happening if you have a previous untreated infection or you keep having recurrent bacterial vaginosis or candida if you have two or more of the symptoms i just mentioned Please, you have to take it seriously. Now, this is the part that matters most. After you've seen all these signs and symptoms I just mentioned earlier, what should you do next? Ask for tests like chlamydia, gonorrhea, mycoplasma, urea plasma. And if you have signs and symptoms of bacterial vaginosis, you should also do tests for bacterial vaginosis. Number two is you should do a pelvic scan. This is to rule out PID, pelvic inflammatory disease. If you are trying to get pregnant, you should do an HSG, that's heterosaphingogram, that checks if your tubes are open. Then you should treat yourself and your partner. This is very important because if one person treats a wound, the infection is going to keep coming back. So the both party should get treated. I did not make this video to scare you. Well, I made it so that you can understand what's actually going on in your body because this has actually delayed a lot of women from becoming mothers. And don't wait until you are trying to get pregnant before you start putting in place all these things I said you should do. And please don't forget to share this video with another woman. You never can tell. This video might save someone years of delay. If this video was helpful to you that just watched, Please do not forget to subscribe and thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.